Hi everyone, welcome back and thank you so much for watching. For today's video, I have this makeup look for you guys. It's my Canada Day inspired makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoy. I feel like you can totally wear this makeup look out on this heat on Canada Day because it's not too much. We have a red lip going on because of course you need a red lip for Canada Day. And then for the eyes, it's quite simple. I have a little bit of red glitter going on but nothing too much, nothing too dramatic. So you can totally wear this. And for the face makeup, I have like really light makeup on. It's not too much. So I feel like this is just perfect if you want to go a little bit dramatic. but. You don't want to feel too heavy on the face especially in this heat then it's just perfect at least that's what I think <laughs> so yeah if you guys want to see how I got this look right here then please keep watching Hey guys, so let's get started. First, I actually wanted to do a white liner with some like red glitter filling in the end part of my liner, of my wing, I mean. But this liner totally did not work out for me. There was like no product coming out and I was struggling. So I'm going to do something totally different now. I'm going to try to incorporate this red glitter into my look because I really wanted to use um, some red and white. But white is not going to work today, so I'm going to try to use the red and incorporate it into my makeup. I'm not really sure what I'm going to be doing yet. I actually did film before with that white liner. That's why I have some white liner residue on my lashes. So we're going to try this out again. And I'm going to be using, okay, I'm going to use my Tartlin Bloom Palette. We're just going to do a normal shadow and I'm just going to try to use the red glitter. So let's get started. So first I'm going to start off by priming my lid. I'm going to use a concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape. And then set it with a powder like I always do. going to move into the Tartlet and Bloom palette. I'm going to take the shade Sweetheart, which is right here. I'm not going to do too much for my shadows today. Um, it's going to be mainly the glitter on the lid. I'm also actually going to dip into Rebel, which is right here. It's like a darker um, burgundy shade, kind of, yeah. Just a little bit darker. I just want to put something in the crease. Okay, so next I'm going to take this glitter. This I just picked up from the dollar store. I actually got it from my little brother because he wanted to do some project using that glitter. But he never ended up using it. So I am going to use it now. And I'm not adding any glue or anything because this glitter is already kind of sticky. So you really don't need to add glue or anything. It will just stick. Um, you can add however much you want. It's just very subtle so you can definitely wear this out for Canada Day. Because I mean... You're gonna be out and everything. You don't wanna have too much going on on your face. It's super hot outside. I feel like you probably can't even see these little specks of glitter on camera. So I'm done with putting the glitter on. I'm just going to go over the crease with that same blending brush. Okay, so next I'm just gonna curl my lashes, put some mascara on, and then I'm gonna Put some false lashes you can also skip the false lashes if you want for this look you can add mascara and you should be good to go but I love my false lashes so I'm gonna add some but it's totally up to you I 
feel like I'm in the circus right now. <laughs> Red and white and then this big ass bow in my head. Don't mind me. So for lashes today, I kind of want to try out these new Ardell 811 Foam Ink Lashes. This is what they look like. But I also got a pair of lashes from Forever 21. Yes, I know. But they look super pretty. This is what they look like. And focus. Yeah, so this is what they look like. They are super wispy and crisscross and all of that. So... You know what, I'm gonna go with the Forever 21 lashes today. I'll try out the Ardell ones another day. These were, I believe, like $2. And I'm like, hmm, not too bad. Let me try them out. So I'm just gonna measure them to see if I need to cut any. Oh, no, not this side, this side. Whoa, these are actually super pretty. Yeah, so I do need to cut some. So whenever you have to cut lashes, make sure you always cut from the ends. Don't cut from the inner part of the lash. Always cut from the end. Okay, so I'm gonna add some lash glue. I'm using the House of Lashes Dark Lash Glue. And you can actually get this on Sephora website now. So I'm just gonna wait for the glue to dry and then I'm gonna pop on my lashes and then we're gonna start on the face. Oh my god, I am super impressed with these lashes. Like, I can't believe it. These are $2 from Forever 21. These are really pretty, actually. I'm definitely gonna go get some more. The only thing is, I don't know the style number or the name because they don't have it. It literally came in a box like this, and I don't know. But I'm gonna try to search for them online, and if I do find them, I will leave it in the description box down below all right so next let's move on to the face i'm gonna be using the dr pores no more primer for foundation today i'm gonna be using the Too faced born this way this has very nice coverage but it does not feel heavy on the skin which is perfect for this kind of weather even though summer hasn't really arrived in Canada yet I know right it's like almost July but it's still raining every single day today for concealer I'm gonna be using the Maybelline fit me because I think the Tarte Shape Tape is just a little too heavy for the summertime. So, I like this. So next I'm just going to bronze up my face. I have not really been contouring too much lately. I've mostly been bronzing. So I'm just going to take this NYX Matte Bronzer. And this is in the shade Deep Tan. And I'm just going to take this big um, Duo Fiber Brush. This is by MAC. The MAC 187. But you can use any other Duo Fiber Brush. And I'm just going to bronze. Not really contouring. I'm just bronzing up the face. So although I'm not contouring, I am still kind of adding that bronzer where I would normally contour. So yeah, it's just more subtle. So next I'm going to contour my nose just slightly because I don't know, I just like to contour my nose. I'm gonna use the Bahama Mama bronzer because it's more of a cool tone bronzer. You don't have to do that if you have like a perfect, nice nose. Oh, you know what? I just realized that we didn't set the under eye. So I'm going to set the under eye with my same Cover FX powder. I'm just going to quickly fill in my brows. 
I already have a brow tutorial on my channel so you guys can check that out I will leave it in the description box okay so brows are done now I'm just gonna finish up the lower lash line I'm gonna take smarty pants and mix it in with a little bit of rebel and just put this right on my lower lash line And I'm going to use this L'Oreal eyeliner. This is just a pretty rose gold shade. Okay, so there is the eyes done. I'm going to add some highlighter now. So just spraying my highlighter brush before I go in with there. So it just gives you a nice wet looking highlight. Next for blush, I'm going to use the Balm Cosmetics Hot Mama Blush. This blush is my favorite for the summer because it just gives you that nice sheen. It's so pretty. I'm going to just take a dual fiber brush to just blend everything out. Oh, I didn't put highlight on my nose. How could I not do that? And then I'm going to be using the Kylie Cosmetics Mary Jo K liquid lipsticks. I really like this red from her. So yeah, this is the finished result. I really hope you guys enjoyed this Canada Day makeup look. I will see you all in my next video.